Hello folks, this is Tim walking us through the Photoshop task number nine, Veggie Head. And the file that you can find online is Veggie Head Start. And there's also the old instructions that came with it. What we're going to do is use the selection tools in Photoshop. Selection tools allow you to select a specific area and do some adjustments to just that area and not the whole image. This is one of the great powers of Photoshop and the number of, I don't know how many different selection techniques they've got within this program. So your, your job is to get used to a number of them and then keep working at them and figure out which one works best for you. This uh, lesson originally came from Photoshop 5 version that I spent 500 pounds buying all those years ago. I think we're on Photoshop version number 22 at the moment. But anyway, it was invented by one of my favorite Photoshop gurus, Julianne Cost, and I've already mentioned her really good videos. She's got so much stuff around. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do is chop out these pieces of edibles and paste them onto this melon here in order to create a face. The You can look on the instructions and see that pretty basic face, which is just fine, but then it's always fun to liven it up and as long as you make fate and eyes, nose, mouth, hair, then uh, you're getting the job done. And feel free to be as creative as you want. Once I made Henry David Thoreau out of these pieces here. <laughs> okay, all right. So it tells us a lot of tasks that we get through. One is to manage layers in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is make two eyes to go on our vegetable head here. All right. So to begin, I'm going up to the menu and I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool. So I've got that little icon and coming down here to the orange is going to be the background to my eye. We can click and drag an ellipse, but that's not what I want. Command D to get rid of it. I can hold the shift key down and it will constrain the selection tool to a circle. And I can get the size that I want and then I can roll over it and move it into position. Okay. Or I can hold the shift key down to keep it a circle and I can hold the alt key or option key down and start from the center and drag outwards and then it's easy to collect a circle that easier to collect a circle that way. But I can always click in the middle and adjust it slightly to get the piece that I want. All right, so now I'm going to do edit, copy, and it's going to copy just that section because the marching dots tell us that that is the area that is selected. That's the area that is active. So when I copy, it's going to take that piece. Or I could do Command C. And then I want to go to Edit and do Paste. Command V. Oh, where's it going? Look over here on the right on the Layers palette, and you can see that a Layer 1 has appeared. And I know from experience that it has pasted that piece of carrot right on top of the same bit there. So if I go up here to the top tool, the move tool, and I click inside that carrot, there it is. Drag that over, and I'm gonna put that in place on the top of my melon head. I need two eyes, so I can do edit, paste again, click, come on, there it goes. Oh, and now it's dropped it right into the middle of the document, so depending upon how you select something, how you copy and paste it, it might appear in exactly the same area that it just that you took it from, or it will also appear in the very middle of the document, so when you lose things. So you can see I've got a layer one and a layer two over here in the layers palette. So I'll put that on there, see what we can make, right? So 
Photoshop tends to have this automatic selection that if I move my mouse over an area and click and drag, it will select that area. I'm on the background layer, so if I click, nothing is happening in that outside area. All right, we need a pupil to go in the center of these eyeballs, and we're going to use the little blueberry icon. So we're using the same tool, the elliptical marquee, and you can click and drag a little circle. You can hold the shift key down to make sure that it stays a circle. See how the cursor changes when I roll back over that selected area? I can position it where I want it. I can do Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Oops, see, now I've dropped an extra carrot in there because I must not have hit the Command C properly. So let me do File, oops, Edit, Undo Move, Edit, Undo Paste. Takes me back to where I was. Try again. Edit. Oh, <laughs> see <laughs> what is on my list to talk about? You have to make sure that in the layers palette, you're actively working on the layer you need to work on. Why wasn't I able to copy the blueberry? Because I didn't have the background layer highlighted. So I need to go over to the background layer, click on the background layer, and you can see it highlighted. I was going to talk about this later, but now is a good time because it's easy to screw up. Now I can go to Edit, Copy, <laughs> and I can go to Command V or Paste. You can see Layer 3 has popped in there, and I'm on the Move tool. I'm active on Layer 3, Layer 2, Layer 1, Layer 3 is what I want. And I can drag that blueberry over and put it Oh, crud, it won't go on my carrot. All right. So several things we're going to do with the uh, Layers palette now. The Layers palette reveals items based on where they are in that stacking layer. So the higher they are on the stacking layer means they're visible on top. Also, if we keep at this, we're going to end up with... Um, 87 different layers and we won't be able to keep track of what's what so we can name these layers So I'm going to double click on the word layer 3 and I want to put that as the right pupil so I'm going to type RT for right pupil I can type that. Okay. And then I want to move it to the top of my stacking layer so it's visible So I just roll over it and the icon changes to that pointy hand if I click, and then I can drag, and you can see how it's changed to kind of a closed fist. And as I move it up, that little blue line goes with it, and I'm moving it to the top. If you move it too far, that line turns off and nothing moves. So click on it, drag it upwards until we get the blue line at the top. I let go, and now the blue berry, pupil, is sitting on top of the uh, carrot. All right, so I can move it around with the arrow keys or I can move it around by clicking and dragging on it. Now, what I want to do is name the orange carrot. Let's call that the right eye, but I don't know which one. Is it layer one or layer two? So if I go over to the layer palette, I click turn off the little eyeball, which makes it visible or invisible. And layer two is the left eye. Layer one is the right eye. So if I double click on the word layer one, I'll call it right eye. Oops. And if I double click on layer two, I can call that left eye. Okay. All right. So now I need another blueberry to go on top of my left eye. And I still have that blueberry selected. So if I go up to edit and paste, it'll give me another one drops it into a new layer one because I've changed those numbered layers. Okay, it's sitting on top of, let's have him looking a little bit to the side. So let's call that right pupil. Okay, so I want to move this guy down a little bit. 
So he's looking in quite kind of a funny way there. Okay, now, what have I done wrong here? I'm still working on my original file. And in your case, you can always grab that sample file that I put up there. But before I go any farther, I want to go File, Save As, and save it as a copy so that I'm not damaging the original file. I will put my name at the start of it so I know whose this is. And it'll go into the same folder, Image Editing Tasks number two. And we will save it as a Photoshop document because we want to keep all the layers intact. So I hit Save there. <laughs> and there's an older version. Let's call it Kovar 2. And we'll hit it and save in there. All right. So we've got two eyes and a head. Let's do a nose next. And for the nose, we're going to use this pair right here. 